and a twist. And it locks into place. Still flying, um, yeah, bugger. Well, I have this piece of uh, thick wall but smaller diameter tube. That is its pre preg carbon. Uh, this one over here is a little bit big, heavy and short. Oh, I've just been looking for the uh, second tube, the same as the one I made the last one out of. And it's in this corner. Right, so it's identical to the other one. But obviously needs to be a weeny bit stronger. Now we'll just look in the carbon supplies, which should be down here. And we have a reasonable amount of double bias, but certainly not continuous length. We've got a, we've got a ton of Kevlar, which is not particularly much use. Oh, I have some reasonably long lengths of double bias that could be wrapped around it. Uh, here's a carbon tube I made. It's an offcut for when I extended the mast for travelling light. I bought a carbon mast, but it was a metre too short, so added it onto the bottom. Here's a double bias that almost goes around. Of course, don't really have to do the top because that's uh, not under the biggest tension. Certainly plenty of length of it, so I dug a bit further and I actually do have some unidirectional lift. That's a plus. I have an offcut of the launching tube, so at least we don't have to do so much trial and error back and forward to the boat. Now the job for today is to put some carbon unidirectionals on the outside of the carbon tube so we need to sand the clear coat off. Might have to tidy up the workbench. Now it's been uh, sanded. I actually found another offcut which slips inside so I might be able to Push it up to where it comes out of the launching tube to help strengthen the inside. I've uh, put a split so it'll fit in better. About a 60 degree angle on the end so it doesn't have a hard spot. I had to take some burrs off 
on the inside. Fortunately, I could reach it. And strips of peel ply. Now, I certainly won't be able to film this while I'm doing it, but the plan is wet out the carbon, wrap the carbon around the tube, and then spiral wrap peel ply, uh, followed by packing tape, and then cross one's fingers. So 105 resin, and even I use slow hardness sometimes. It was 24 degrees earlier on today. Right, uh, resin on the tube, and we'll try <laughs> to roll it on. I can see it's not going well, as I'm obviously on my own. It's uh, wrapped in carbon. I tried not to make it too resin rich. Spiral wrapped in peel ply, and spiral wrapped, spiral wrapped in two different directions with packing tape as tight as I can get it. I've also pushed the inner bit up to where it exits the launcher when it's deployed. Now I'm dotting the surface to allow the excess resin to bleed out. You can see it coming through. Just a sharp needle point. Well, let's see how it is is to get the tape off. Well, it uh, just took a bit of time, but uh, the peel ply came off, unfortunately, because it was in a number of relatively short strips. You had to keep digging up the ends, but uh, looks good. Right, well this is uh, an off-cut of the tube that has the launch through, so it uh, doesn't look like too much sanding is required, but we'll see. Now assuming that uh, the tube on the boat's not bent, uh, it all seems pretty damn good to me. I need to put in the peg that holds it in extended position in the launcher. Pins glued in, it's a fiberglass pin, so it's glued in with epoxy. There's um, some carbon tape and front of it to help uh, support the area. I found some clear lacquer so we'll give her a spray. So 
So we need to take the low friction eye and its locator off the broken piece. Well, there's obviously a deformity in the launching tube. 